Live from the Sweet and Snack Show. Jeremy Weiss here. We're live from the Sweet and Snack Show. I'm here with Trace and Mudlurk. And so where did you get the idea for this, Trace? Uh, I mean, tell people what it is first. It tastes delicious. You would not know... You know yes. that there. I don't. I haven't seen anything else out there like this. No, it's quite unique. So Mudlark is my vacuum fried shiitake mushroom chip brand, and I have four different flavors. We have spicy buffalo, honey onion mustard, and uh, our original and black pepper. And our black pepper is unique because um, we actually we don't add any salt. Like a lot of black pepper potato chips will also have salt, but it's just straight black pepper. And um, the idea came uh, about a year and a half, two years ago. I was traveling through Europe and France, meeting a friend for lunch. And they had brought an unmarked brown bag of fried mushroom chips. And I tasted that. I was like, wow, these are amazing. Then eight months go by. I kind of forgot about it. Came across the item again when I was traveling through East Asia. I used to live in China. Went to high school and college there. I speak Mandarin. And um, discovered them again. And I was like, I need to look into this. So I looked into it, did some research, found out shiitakes are native to East Asia. And met, went and toured some farms, met with some food producers, and um, through a, you know, a, a team, I uh, was able to develop uh, our original uh, shiitake mushroom chip, and then I bring those items here to the U.S., and then we add the seasonings. Uh, we make our packaging material here, we do our printing here, and then we do the packaging in our facility here as well. So what's your background before this? My background is nothing food-related. Uh, my background is um, I actually started in fireworks in China, uh, manufacturing those and importing to the U.S., and then uh, continued the sort of manufacturing focus overseas in, in Asia, um, in Thailand, Vietnam, China. And so in terms of um, uh, developing like a food product in China, it, it's not intimidating for me because I, I, I speak the language and I'm very familiar with China. And, um, and then logistics and, and that aspect of running an international operation, um, I already had that experience. And so it, it was much less intimidating for me to start. So what made you decide to move back to the States as opposed to staying over there? Um, it was all my trips there were kind of temporary schooling. So I did high school for a year, uh, a couple years of college, and, and been back numerous times uh, for business-related activities. Um, and those usually last a few weeks or a couple months at a time. So talk about the name. How'd you come up with the name? Uh, well, Mudlark, originally I wanted another name that um, has a, um, a sort of a, a definition of someone who like scavenges for items, which is very synonymous with people who, who like Mushroom mushrooms. Hunting. Yeah, especially like morales, which yeah. now is morales season. I've been truffle but, hunting in Italy. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's an intense process. So, um, so I, I, I discovered one name, but then I found out that name was taken. So then I did some more thinking, searched online for other uh, interesting names, and I came across uh, the, uh, the word mudlark, spelled M-U-D-L-A-R-K, which um, is someone who scavenges for items of value. And so I just dropped the A and kept the R, uh, so it's still pronounced the same way phonetically, uh, but looks a little bit more uh, interesting and maybe easier to trademark. So how do you spell it for people to go to your website? M-U-D-L-R-K. Yes. Okay. Yeah. And so where can people find it? Uh, right now we just launched. So you can find it on our website. But other than that, we're, we're um, uh, in a lot of discussions. Any of the marketplaces? So, no. Not yet. No. Is there a reason? Uh, just like launched. Amazon and... Uh, and no. The uh, only reason is um, just launched. Like just launched. Will be. You will be. You will be. You access, so yeah. eventually people will yeah. go on Amazon and, yes. and those, those sites to, yes. to get it. Yes. And then talk about your booth. You actually handmade... This booth? Yes. Um, I, had, I had attended numerous expos in the past, not necessarily food related, but other things, and um, had seen type of a wooden structure before. And uh, um, This is a sturdy, yeah, sturdy thing. Uh, yeah, well, it's you also, to too hard. But you also okay. have um, banana and coconut chips. Yes. So what, what other products do you have besides so the mushrooms? Actually, the first brand I came out with is Fly Green, Fly Green Snacks. Um, and that was 
is in an effort to um, offer an alternative to the peanuts and pretzels that are given on airlines, uh, which is synonymous with airline snacking. And so I developed um, the banana coconut chips, but in the process of developing that snack, uh, I put a very big emphasis on the packaging material. I didn't want to use plastics, and I wanted something that not just um, was, say, eco-friendly or compostable, but actually looked and felt like that, and hence the craft paper surface layer. Um, that's what took quite a while yeah. to develop. So what is it made of? Uh, there's a number of components inside of it, and each layer individually is certified compostable, and then I joined those layers together to make this flexible food-grade packaging material. Wow. Yeah. So this is unique too, the packaging is unique? Yes, so it's not just the whole food snacks, it's the packaging too that's unique with my product. Yeah. So, two things I want to talk about. One, uh, challenges. It's not easy to get these things no. launching off the ground. And two, um, some proud, proud moments so far. Yes. What's been some challenging pieces? Uh, challenging. I mean, some people think, oh, Tra Trace has got it. You know, he speaks yeah. the language. He's yeah. lived there. Yeah. He's got an easier road to this. Yes. Um, no, it has been challenging despite the the so-called advantages I may have, um, it's still definitely a challenging uh, endeavor. Um, mainly, number one, I've never had any food uh, or retail experience before or launching um, a food product or a consumer product uh, for that matter. And, and uh, little things, like even down to the packaging material, learning like what does it take to make a food grade flexible packaging material? I mean, why was that so important? Because you could have taken the easier route and just go, okay, we're going to get packaging and use that. But you decided to take the, the harder route and yeah. developing these three layers and yes. putting them together. Um, I did that because that's just what I wanted. And I knew, um, and I, I had a feeling that that's what the market wanted too, despite it being a little more expensive. Um, it definitely, the packaging material definitely costs a lot more than what you'll see other, other products using on the store shelf. Um, but again, I, I think the, the value that I get from that um, outweighs the actual cost money value of the material. Yeah. Yeah. So proud moment so far. Uh, this show? Yeah. Yes, very good. How has it been so for you? Uh, what, what's been positive about this show? Like what, what good do you think will come out of it? Uh, sales. <laughs> yeah, yeah. How do people approach you with that? Is it going to be more like retail sales? Who's been attracted? Who's been attracted to this? Uh, we've we've seen everyone uh, very interested. Um, uh, down to convenience, to retail, to small mom and pop stores, uh, little uh, uh, natural food stores, um, distributors, brokers, uh, you name it. We've we've uh, had them all come to our booth. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. So again, where should people check you out online? Uh, you can go to mudlark.com or flygreensnacks.com. Live from the Sweet and Snack Show. What I got, you can't buy. It resides between my eyes. Walk through the fire, came out better on the other side. See, nice like a beach if you find.